And now, it's time for the Celebrity Snitch, Huggy Lowdown. Huggy! What's the deal, Pickles? Is everything kosher? Yeah, Huggy, everything is kosher. Tom Sybil J. Hugster. Uh, how are y'all feeling this morning? All right. Hey, Tom. Huggy. I know you normally don't do this. Well, actually, you never, ever do this. <laughs> but can you play a request? I'm DJ, DJ Request. request. Of course. It's not for me. It's for Floyd Mayweather Jr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for Floyd. Well, you, you play you... Drew Hill? Somebody sleeping in my bed. My bed. Coming up. My bed. <laughs> Oh, pretty boy Flo is having some baby mom's problems. Yes. Apparently, she ain't in his corner no more. No. <laughs> <laughs> that little Bama Floyd Mayweather went off when he checked his baby mother's phone and saw text messages on there from this NBA player, mm-hmm, C.J. Watson from, from the Chicago Floyd couldn't believe it. The mother of his children is getting tiger texted by the last <laughs> player on the Chicago Bulls bench <laughs> that no one has ever heard of. Well, I thought it was just me. <laughs> CJ Watson averaged a triple double time on the Bulls last year <laughs> without ever getting into a game. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm, 28 minutes of sleep, 11 <laughs> cups of Gatorade, and 14 times being told by the coach to shut up for a game. <laughs> so Floyd asked his baby mother straight up, are you having sex with that clown-ass Negro, C.J. Watt? <laughs> and she said yes. And then Floyd not only went berserk, he went bonkers, ballistic, and straight black crazy. <laughs> So now there's a restraining order against Floyd's ass. Tom Manny Pacquiao should have slept with Floyd's baby mother. <laughs> then maybe Floyd would fight him. Yeah. <laughs> but C.J. Watson better go hide somewhere where no one will find him. <laughs> like the L.A. Clippers. <laughs> Little Floyd is going to knock his ass out. <laughs> we'll go to my peace.